so I recently was singing Tasha Cobb's For Your Glory and I was speeding through it, but I'm gonna get it together. So here goes for my self journey. One of my steps. So let's go. Lord, if I find favor in your sight, Lord, please hear my heart's cry, cause I'm desperately waiting to be where you are, I'll cross the high desert I travel near or far for your glory I will do anything just to see you to behold you as my king for your glory just to see you to behold you as my king i want to be where you are i gotta be where you are i want to be where you are I gotta be where you are I gotta be where you are so I just wanted to bless y'all and spread some of that good love, you know, high vibrational frequencies out there to uh, so whoever needs it. Um, this self-love awareness journey that I'm going on, it is taking me places. So I'm stepping out of my comfort zone. I'm going to try and post and sing and express myself as much okay my hair looks crazy okay so hey dolls so i want to talk about toxic relationships so recently someone that i grew up with messaged me and i guess she I, I guess I bothered her. My lifestyle bothers her, but we don't even speak anymore. But she just felt the need to message me all kinds of negative, low vibrational nonsense, I would say. But I don't attach myself to those negative feelings. So basically, I just, you know, looked at it and laughed because the old me would have went off. Like, <laughs> so that's how I know that you know something big is happening in my life so anyway i just want to talk about limiting beliefs and toxic relationships so basically if you don't love yourself or you think you're not worthy basically those are limiting beliefs and if you grew up like I guess in a household, the sun is kicking my butt. If you grew up in a household with like a narcissistic parent, which is a parent that abused you, talked down to you, told you you were less than, told you to shut up, didn't love you, you know, as an adult, you basically attract relationships like that. And as a kid also. So I never knew that the friends that I attracted were just like, my foster mother just like my narcissistic ex just like my narcissistic narcissistic uncle just all of them were the same they were all the same it was just a repeating cycle but that cycle is over thank god now i realized that you know as an empath you know you absorb everyone else's emotions so you have to learn as an adult how to detach yourself from that. Just detach. That's not you. You know, you absorb between the ages of zero to seven, basically. 
you absorb everything around you. I think you're like in the theta stage, if I'm not right, if I'm not mistaken. But you, your subconscious that creates your life, that your little movie that you create for yourself. Like if you grew up in a poor household, you think you're poor. If you grew up in a rich household, you think you're rich. If you grew up in a non-loving household, disruptive, crazy, you think that's how everything is supposed to be. So you attract those relationships. If you grew up in a baby mother household, you, that's what you're going to be. That's what you attract. You attract baby daddies, you know. You know, and the saga goes on. My thing is, detach yourself. Get rid of those people. Drop them. I know it's hard. Just get rid of them. You'll notice your life is so much better. <laughs> like, not, not being a people pleaser. Yes, so being a people pleaser, stop it. Like, you don't have to please anybody but yourself. My thing is, if you, I guess, wasn't loved as a kid, you always want to please people, but don't. Like, they're not trying to please you. And the more you please them, the more you take away and give power to them. And you don't want to do that. Like, you don't want to give your power away. Like, do you know how powerful you are? Like, we are so powerful. We don't even know it. Like... The media does not want you to know that, of course, because you wouldn't need them. Like, I don't even watch the news. I don't watch the news. I don't care. I don't care. Because people will tell you what's going on. They have so many negative people out here like, oh, my God, did you see who died? Did you see how it happened? Did you see, the, you know, Corona? You know, oh, my God. Like, how? like, I can't. You don't even need to watch TV. But I just wanted to talk about that. So if you've been wondering, like, is it me? Is something going on? I know Mercury was in retrograde recently. I know it still is. But I know we having the moon, the full moon of, the full moon in Taurus is actually going to be October 31st, which is Halloween, which is Hallow's, Hallow's Eve. How do you really say it? But you know, there's so many stories, but that's the day that the spirits walk the earth. So I can't wait like i'm so excited you never notice how many people have your car like until <laughs> you look around like my car is riding by me as we see i can't but anyway so let's talk about this green these trees oh i love it breathing in that beautiful piranha <laughs> you know infinite waters yes diving deep <laughs> I'll be watching him all the time. Anyway, so life is great. Now, let go of those people. Back to what I was saying. Let go of those people. You are beautiful. If you're a guy, you're handsome. You're worth it. You're worthy. Like, just start loving yourself. Like, start taking yourself out. I know it's COVID going on. But go outside. Walk around. Get some vitamin D from the sun. You know, hug some trees pick up some leaves walk on the grass you know i'm always barefoot like i'm barefoot right now but my feet are kind of white i ain't trying to show y'all but look at my hair oh my gosh what happened oh child honey honey child honey <laughs> but this glow though so anywho i just want y'all to stop the nonsense and for 2021 i don't want to see none of those posts that is showing me the girl with the bag with the money with that's in her bag yes be in your bag but also like like focus on yourself you know invest in yourself you know if you want those sneakers if you want that if you want that bag if you want whatever you want just get it just buy it just Go do it. If you want to move, I moved. If you want to move, just pack up all your stuff and move out of state. Just go. Like, come on. Just just do it. You know, the universe got you. You got ancestors. You have spirit teams. You have spirit gods. You got angels. You have every. You have so much support. It's not even funny. You have God. You know, people call God a lot of different names. You know, but... It's all one God. Now, just go do it. And just remember that 
God loves you and you're created in his image. So if you're created in his image, that means like you're your own God. Like God is inside of you. So like do what you want to do. Like when are you going to do it? Anywho. So there you go. That's better. Now I'm just outside enjoying this, these trees. I just decided like I was meditating and I'm like, let me get on and share this so i know a lot of people they connect to people and they think like this is their soulmate um because y'all went through the same thing and y'all basically no some people are coming to your life for a lesson they come to teach you like you should love yourself if somebody comes into your life and they're abusive and they talking down to you and they treating you like dirt they cheating on you constantly that doesn't mean that he loves you that doesn't mean that she loves you get out of there get out of here that's not even love if you grew up not around love you don't even know what love is so how can you even say like these people are here for a season a reason a lesson and for you to drop them so basically if you have a blessing coming you're not gonna get it because you have these people around you energy vampires sucking you dry sucking your bank account dry wanting money from you wanting your help they always want to talk to you about their nonsense their drama they always want to call you at two in the morning for help but when you need help nobody can even lend you ten dollars ten dollars ten dollars nobody has a dollar but everybody thinks you're rich everybody wants your money but they don't know how hard you work they don't know how many nights you didn't go home how many nights you worked you stayed you slept at work they don't know they don't and they don't care they don't care so wake up wake up tap 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 yeah tap in so that's all i wanted to tell y'all just wake up because this world is is slowly waking up i should say but for the people that's already on the boat they already on they know what's going on but my thing is if you're here to tell people or teach or whatever you're here to do whatever your purpose is find it because this planet needs more love than ever this planet is definitely you know mother nature is not happy all this stuff going on you know mother gaia i don't know but just try you know every day just give gratitude for life and if you're in the receiving receiving and gratitude state you'll always have everything you need all right i love you you're loved i just wanted to reach out and tell y'all this in case you know i know i've been slacking so i'm basically gonna change up my channel i know it was ivf or ivf as y'all know i did my ivf and i got my daughter and i have my other babies in the freezer so when i'm ready i'll have the other ones but for right now i just wanted to update my channel and basically you know have some encouraging videos and help y'all help the people that need it and want to hear you know what's going on so sending y'all love and light and I will talk to y'all in the next video. Bye. Yes, I just love this room. How cute and quaint. The Hilton. Okay. We are in. Yes, honey. That is nice and clean. Boops. See that?